everyone. Um, so I thought I was done with my vlog today because, you know, I had my whole hair escapade today. But um, I forgot that I had a, goodness, this thing won't straighten up. Okay. I forgot that I had a, um, a surprise coming today um, just because it was supposed to have been here yesterday and yesterday was a holiday, so I didn't come. But um, I have to open this right away, so I wanted to make sure I vlogged it. So this video may or may not be seen with the hair thing. Um, it may I may just wait and post it um, the next day. But I just wanted to share. <coughs> Excuse me. So I got, I feel like I can't see you guys. Hold on. I need more room. I need a she shed. Um. Well, we'll just make this work. Okay. So, I got a, um, gosh, it's crooked. Sorry. Okay. I got a butterfly garden. And, um, I have to open it right away because it has live caterpillars inside. So, let's see what this is all about. I've got this idea um, from Amber Smith. I don't know if you guys know who Granger Smith is, but that is his wife. And she did a, um, a butterfly, like, habitat thing with her kids. And I thought that it would be super cool to do that here. I think I'm more excited than the kids, though. So, uh, let me see. Let me get my little knife here. So, my husband is currently installing a ceiling fan in our son's room. So, if you hear a little noise in the background, that's what that is going on. Okay, so I have it opened. And this is what it looks like when you open it. So, it says, Happy Growing from Insect Lure. Dot com and I got this on Amazon it was like $39 so it I'm gonna show you what all it comes with and we're just gonna open this together so here's gosh they feel so warm I guess they're okay because it's been super hot but here's the caterpillars you can see them it says school kit caterpillars insect lore okay and then there's a little, like a little house thing for them. Okay, and it says, read me. <clears throat> it says, your caterpillars may seem inactive when they first arrive, but don't worry, this is normal. Please give your caterpillars 24 to 48 hours to adjust after their bumpy journey to you. They soon will begin eating and growing before your very eyes. Keep your cup of caterpillars away from direct sunlight, heat, and drafts. If you feel there is a problem with your shipment, do not throw your insects away. They are likely just fine. Okay, so this feels really warm to me. Um, and it's been really hot outside. And, and I should have taken that into consideration. But I can see them moving around. I don't know if you can see. But they are moving around in there. Um... And then next it says, we guarantee three out of five caterpillars will become adult butterflies. Live products are non-returnable. If you have questions, email us at customer service at insectlore.com and it has the phone number. And this is the directions. It comes with this. I imagine this is how they'll get their source of fluids. And then here is, oh, so this is for the butterflies to feed, the butterfly feeder. And this has all of the directions in it. So we'll go through each if you want to. I mean, I'm kind of excited about it. So I'll go through each one with you guys. It says, grow your caterpillars. Here's what to do. Handle the cup of caterpillars gently. Place the cup upright indoors and away from sunlight and drafts. Keep the lid on the cup and do not touch your caterpillars. Maintain a temperature of 68 to 75 degrees, which it's pretty cool in my house right now. It's about the air is on 68, so we're good. Watch carefully. Your caterpillars will shed. 
their exo exoskeleton several times as they grow. And then see them become chrysalis. After seven to 10 days, your caterpillars will climb to the top of the cup and attach themselves to the underside of the lid. This is gonna be fun. So I'm going to make sure I vlog this so you guys can kind of watch this with us as our caterpillars um, start to change. Um, it says they will hang in a J shape, shed their exoskeletons one last time and harden into a chrysalis chrysalides chrysalides i would say chrysalis move your chrysalides to the butterfly habitat so okay oh look there's a journal like i'm a big kid you guys i mean this is pretty cool it has a dot to dot it has which butterfly is different so ask me who this is for and i will probably say it's more for me. and butterfly food and look we have a insect insect garden and then more butterfly food okay so it looks like okay so what we're gonna do once they um, stick to the uh, the lid of this cup we will move them to the um, attached, gently move them. Uh, so we're gonna remove the lid and the lid is going to set in here and it's gonna go inside of this habitat. See, I'm learning, we're learning together, but this is gonna be super fun to watch. And I wanna open this so we can look and see. And then this just pops up It's a tent and it looks like this. And uh, so there's the top and it just unzips. So once our, our caterpillars, they start to change and they go to the top, the lid will be removed and this little doohickey will be put inside of the garden and then the lid will just rest right inside of here and then it has a let's find out what this thing's for it says watch the birth of your butterflies after seven to ten days your painted lady butterflies will emerge from the chrys chrysalides please help me say that right at first the butterfly wings will be soft and crumpled and then the butterflies will slowly stretch and strengthen their wings they may be excuse also, they may also exude a few small red drops of meconium after they emerge. This is normal. Meconium is a leftover material. The butterfly does not need to complete metamorphosis. Do not disturb your habitat while your butterflies are emerging. Do not touch newly emerged butterflies and wait two to three hours to allow your butterflies' wings to dry and harden before feeding. And then next, we're going to take this. And we're going to make nectar with the packages. That, so everything comes with this. So you get the you get the caterpillars, and you also get the nectar. You get the feeding sponge. We get the habitat and um, a cool journal, and um, all of the supplies that you need. And it's like thirty nine dollars. It's pretty cool. Um, it says a mix. So you're going to mix it with one cup of water. Drop a few drops of nectar into your butterfly feeder or on a cotton ball or a tissue and place it in the habitat. If you're dripping nectar on a cotton ball or a tissue, place a small paper plate under plate and then place it into the habitat. Or provide your butterflies with a small slice of fresh fruit like watermelon, orange, or banana. That's cool. Give your butterflies fresh, fresh fruit every day. Do not leave containers of water or nectar in the habitat. Your butterflies may fall and drown. Okay, and then once all of this is done, the best part is you get to set your butterflies free. Observe the wonder of your butterflies for a few precious days and then set them free. Remember, butterflies are an important part of the environment. Butterflies, re it says release your butterflies within a week after emergence. Be sure daytime temperatures are above 55 degrees. 
Open the habitat carefully and watch your butterflies fly away. Butterflies often land on little hands and faces before they take flight. So we'll make sure we do that. I might have the grandbabies over to release the butterflies. So that's cool. So it's insectlore.com. And um, it's on, you can find it on Amazon or you can go to insectlore.com. I ordered this one from Amazon. So, um, and everything that you need comes with um, in the package. And it says thank you. And then it has their email or their, yeah, their website. So that is so cool. I'm excited. So I will make sure that I vlog this journey with the butterflies and um, and just kind of share this experience with you guys. I just hope that, so they're cooling down already. I just hope that these puppies are okay because like I said, it's been pretty uh, hot outside and they're probably really tired. So, but look, you can see it comes with five caterpillars. And then, um, yeah, so hopefully we get out all five out of them. That'd be awesome. And um, we can watch them. Uh, we can watch them grow. So it's the painted lady butter butterfly. And then it shows the life cycle. So they've been eggs. Now they're caterpillars. And then they'll do the chrysalis and then the butterfly. So. Anyway, I just thought I would hop on and share this with you guys because I was really excited to get this today. Um, I hope you're excited as I am, and I will be sure to keep you updated with our caterpillars um, as each day as they grow. So, um, I hope everyone's having a good rest, good day, and um, I will hopefully be talking to you soon. Everyone, have a good night. Bye. P.S. Please subscribe and like and um, also share a uh, comment below. Don't forget, we are having uh, our t-shirt giveaway. The deadline for that is June 1st, so um, that's coming up soon. So just make sure that you comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much again for watching. Bye guys. Hey everyone, so it is the next day. This is kind of a continuing saga with the uh, butterfly caterpillars. Um, I just wanted to show you what they look like today. So if you remember yesterday, they were all kind of lethargic and laying around and I was a little bit concerned because it was so hot. But look, today, all five of them are alive and they are crawling towards the top. Remember, I said that they will crawl to the top and they will form a chrysalis. And then that's when we remove them and put them in the, um, in their habitat. So I'm really excited. I just wanted to share that with you all. I hope everyone's having a good day and, um, to be continued. I will talk to you all soon.